I've got nothing but time on my hands. Hello friends, this is Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, we are going to unjar this jewelry jar that I have had in my stash for well over two years. Yep, two years. I had a habit of buying jewelry jars and putting them away. I'm glad I did because my local Goodwills no longer sell these. So let's take a look at the top. This jewelry jar cost $25.25. It's highly likely that I had a 20% off coupon for this. So I paid $20 for this jewelry jar. I am going to jump right in and open this up and see if there are any goodies in this jar that I can resell. I am a full-time seller on eBay. So of course I always look for things that I can list in my eBay store when I open up these jewelry jars, jewelry mystery boxes. All right, let's dump this out. This first piece that just kind of fell out here is this ring. You can see it's misshapen, but oftentimes there's an easy fix for that. You take a ring mandrel like I'm doing here and you kind of just push it down on the mandrel twist it around a little bit and let's take a look at the size while we're doing that this one looks like it's about a size 8 so anyway let's take it back off and look at it closely right there I see a China stamp and then CZ and on this side says 925R and then 8. So that's what we said. It was a size 8. Now the last time I saw an R just like that, my viewers told me that that was a Ross Simmons piece. And I ended up selling that piece, which was a heart pendant necklace to a viewer. Uh, I didn't realize it was Ross Simmons. So she got a great deal. I'm happy for her. So that's what we have here. It looks like a Ross Simmons CZ ring. I will go ahead and put the magnet to it to see if it is precious metal. Maybe it's sterling silver. Next is a super cute pair of dangle earrings. What do we have here? Mickey and Minnie Mouse. These are so cute. This was in the jar just like that on paper. Yep, they are pierced earrings. And I am going to take a look at the back. They are both marked on the back, Disney and Sterling. Oh, these are super cute. And I forgot to mention that if you're interested in purchasing anything that you see in this video, you can email me at kitsch.barbara at yahoo.com. Here's my email address on the screen. And I also always include it down below in the description box. So since these are labeled Sterling, I'm going to get the magnet out and again, this is sticking to the magnet. So read your screen right here and I will do a test and reveal the results of my test right now. The next piece coming out here is a cute little statement necklace. It's got a curved frontal part, but of course it's missing a stone. So this one will go in a craft lot. Next is this strand of beads. These are cloisonne beads in round and like a diamond shape. And they are ready to be crafted with and you can create all sorts of cute things I'm sure I also found this straggling in the box or the jar I should say and looks like someone started an earring there and I don't know maybe I'll find its match but those are cute oh this looks pretty oh this is such a lovely piece I love the vibrant rich red in these beads. These are faceted acrylic beads. They are linked together and then there is a thin satin ribbon wrapping around each of the beads all the way up the necklace and when you get to the end this is a velvet ribbon and the metal is hematite tone or gunmetal tone. Look at these colors. Aren't they pretty? This feels really well made. Here's the velvet ribbon at the end. And this does have a tag that says China. This is a Joan Rivers piece. 
I am not surprised to learn that this is a Joan Rivers piece. I just am seeing this as maybe perfect for the holidays and maybe even for Valentine's Day. This is a lovely necklace. I did find that other cloisonne earring, so I have a pair here and I will be selling these. I will be replacing that ear wire because it's just a little bit worn and it's an easy thing for me to do. So they're kind of cute. I like them. Here are some coconut pieces. There is a brown coconut disc stretch bracelet. And here we have what looks like a layered, this is cute, a layered coconut necklace with these little half circles all strung together and some colorful wooden beads in between. There is a loop and button clasp on this one. This next piece is a super long necklace. It's very lightweight and some of these faux pearls have scratches, see the mark on that one. So, but there are definitely some usable pieces and that will make a good addition to the craft lot as well. Next is this set of bracelets. A set of three in silver, rose gold and yellow gold. They are the stretch metallic. Sometimes you'll see watches made of this material, but these are the bracelets and they look like they are brand new. Next is this pendant necklace, a rose pendant, silver tone. And this actually is very well made as far as the weight goes. They have it antiqued. See that little black kind of a staining on there? That's pretty. And it has a Rolo chain in silver tone as well. Here's a look at the back of the pendant and I am seeing something right there. Let's see if I can get a better focus on that. Let's see if I can make that out. Chisel stainless steel. So obviously it's a chisel brand. I've never heard of it. I'll look it up to see if it has any resale value, but I really do like the pendant. Here's a statement necklace. These are plastic cabochons. They're faceted and they are like a dark brown with a reddish tint to them. This one does not have a maker's mark. We have gold tone metal, a lobster clasp, and it's in good shape. It's common to find this style necklace in a lot of these jewelry jars or mystery jewelry unboxings. So for a fast fashion piece, it's not bad. There are a few watches in this lot and including this piece. Let's take a look at this small piece first. So this looks like a locket watch and it says Argento 0.925. I don't know exactly what that means. It's not currently running, but it looks like you can open it right there with that little dip and change out the battery. I'll look into Argento. I'm not sure if it's a brand that I need to know about or not. Then we have these two pink watches. They are similar in shape as far as the watch face goes. This one here is the costume piece. It says gossip. And again, it's not running. The second hand is pink to match the watch band, which I think is leather. Let's look. How about if I get it into focus first? There we go. So it is leather. This looks like it's new. The plastic is still on the back. So that just might need a battery. And then the next pink one is this one. I like that the face on this one is pink and then it has like those neon greenish yellow numbers and hour and minute marker and we have a second hand on this one as well. This one also looks like it's in pretty new shape. Marcel Drucker. Again, maybe I need to know that name but I don't think it's a popular name. Here's this watch band and it looks like this is also genuine leather. So maybe with just a couple of batteries, these two guys right here and that little guy that I already put down somewhere <laughs> uh, could be usable watches. And then I don't want to forget about, forget about this one here. This is uh, strung on, I think those are plastic beads and it looks like they have a lobster clasp closure here. Again, this one is not running. Let's get this back into focus. We have Geneva right there. 
and this one has seen better days see it's worn kind of worn out so this is going to go in a craft lot here's a little collar necklace libra and it has a little clear rhinestone charm hanging off the l this one is missing both the lobster or spring clasp and the jump ring to attach the clasp to here's a look at that pendant it's got a very delicate chain there's the end of the chain that's missing the clasp and the little jump ring for it to attach to. So this is going to go in the craft lot. Oops, got it, got it backwards. There we go. He has a cute little necklace with a turtle pendant. It's made with black seed beads and I think these are coconut, but I'm not sure. I think that's coconut, but I'm not sure. It's either that or wood. I can't tell. Here's what the other side looks like. So it's cute. It's a little tribally kind of. And um, as I said, there's black seed beads going all the way up. And there is the clasp, which is gold tone barrel clasp. If you're a turtle lover and collect turtle jewelry, this might be for you. These are adorable little parrot earrings, little painted wooden earrings, dangle earrings. These are pink, teal, and yellow. These are so much fun, I think. I'm going to replace those ear wires just to have new ones on there. And you know, these remind me of a pair that I've had on my desk for, I don't know, a couple months. And these are purple parrots. Let me pull these out. I thought these were pretty cute. They've just been sitting here on my desk because, well, all I need to do is put a new ear wire on the one that I'm holding in my hand. And I just haven't made it a priority. So now that I've got these other parrots, maybe I'll just go ahead and list both of these. I think they're pretty cute. Very tropical and a lot of fun, I think. Well, I found another ring. This is pretty too. So this has a round setting with little baguettes on each side. And where's that other ring? Here's the other ring that I had to kind of straighten up. Uh, this one has that square center setting with looks like a couple of square stones on each side interesting so uh first of all let's see if there's a mark i am seeing 925 and then to the left of that i can't quite read it all right let's see what size this is well this looks like it's also a size eight and my guess is that that's either glass or CZs. It's pretty though. I like the setting a lot. Here are some pink items. These are all going in the craft lot. This is a glass beaded stretch bracelet. Got some pink and purple and whoops. <laughs> and some broken elastic that's going to need cleaned up now. Um, some pink earrings and some shells that are dyed shells. These are all going in the craft lot. And the next thing you will be seeing is a cleaned up table. <laughs> Check these out. These are glass rings. One in blue, one in pink. These are pretty darn cool. They remind me of bubbles. Um, well, that's just neat. I've never seen anything quite like it. And I'm gonna go ahead and size these. Here's the pink one first, and this is a size, that looks like a nine and three quarters. And now for the blue one. The blue one looks like it is a size, I would say a size eight and three quarters, maybe a nine. I always love a unique piece of jewelry and these are just pretty cool. Next we're looking at this handful of jewelry. Unfortunately they're all going in the craft lot and mostly unfortunately for this one because um, it's very pretty. It's a clamper bracelet but I noticed that one of these stones is missing. I'll find it for you right now. There it is. So that's too bad because this is a very pretty bracelet and it matches my nail polish. <laughs> and then these other guys, this is just super worn out and scratched. Faux leather, magnetic clasp. This is a very inexpensive gold bangle. It's got a lot of marks on it. And this is a bracelet with a magnetic clasp here. 
looks like it's handmade and these are plastic beads at least the pink ones are these other guys might be I think that those are, are faux pearls here are three pieces they are all made with hematite beads I suspect all of them are handmade these two are very pretty these have the gold tone metal as accent and this one is all silver tone here is the bracelet with a spring clasp closure here are the earrings with gold tone round beads in between the hematite beads I would replace those ear wires and here's a look at the necklace it's kind of long and it looks like there's just a little bit too much wire with this the way it was made and I am thinking that 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 hook closure right there could be sterling silver here is a gorgeous brooch first of all I love the shape this rectangular shape it looks like filigree work on that it's gold tone and this has marcasite do you see the little stones this is so pretty I'm trying to keep my hand still so you can see it wow I love this and here is a look at the back of it this looks very well made there is a rollover clasp right there and I am going to just see what happens when I put the magnet on that let's check this out with the magnet interesting there is no magnetic pull this is such a pretty design I just realized that there are four leaves and the center of the stem is the marcasite gorgeous well, I'm definitely going to test this after the video so fingers crossed that it's some sort of gold here are the results of my test right here on the screen the next piece I'm pulling out is this heart pendant it is polished silver tone and it's got a double chain very delicate chain here's the pendant up close and you can see the chain as you get to the end of the necklace it has a spring clasp and oh it has a spring clasp and a lobster clasp because the one with the spring clasp is an actual necklace extender here's the jewelry tag and it's Avon this is a very sweet necklace I like this one this bracelet is cute it's made of plastic I thought it was hematite at first until I picked it up so this one's going in the craft lot this is an artisan bracelet this is a handmade bracelet these beads here these black beads they have like a cool swirl design you can see that one laying on its side that's a matte onyx and then these square beads that have more of like a brownish red they are banded agate now these components here the silver components those are sterling silver now this does need to be polished up so this is a, a great feeling bracelet it feels very well made and I love the colors for fall a couple little delicate stretch bracelets this one probably needs to be restrung see where it's all stretched out that pink one and then this one no stones are missing I think it would be fun to wear stack to stack bracelets like this all a little more of a delicate just stack a bunch of them on your arm that would be kind of cute here's a pretty cool necklace it's super long but I just want to give you this view to show you all the beads they are mostly navy blue very interesting some of them have like little textures in it little spots in them uh, blue gold and I think there were a couple of clear ones there here's a pretty neat bead it's clear on the outside and gold on the inside they are all linked together even these are kind of cool these little links here so I like it it's very different there is no clasp on this one but we see here that this is an express necklace and there was something on the other side it's upside down there we go handmade in Italy well that's surprising interesting for an express necklace to be handmade in Italy it's cute though I like it here are a couple of earrings they're in great shape these are really fun they are blue with a white outline the initial K and then these gold tone hoops really bright gold finish I couldn't find any mark on these at all but I like that they have like a polished hoop with a little rope design textured rope design wrapped around 
I may as well just see if these are magnetic. They are, so they're definitely not precious metal, but they are pretty nonetheless. Here are a couple more for the craft lot. These are faux pearls and plastic pink beads with this plastic floral pendant there. This has a magnetic clasp and this is just a string of shells. I do have a shell craft lot that is getting bigger and bigger because I haven't listed it yet. <laughs> but this is going to get added to that craft lot. I have a couple more bracelets to show you, including this one. This is a stretch bracelet. It's made with black lava beads and this very pretty disco ball bead in silver tone and crystals. Let's see if I can get that better. There we go. And there's a better look at those lava beads as well. So this is really cute. Again, it would probably make a fun stacking bracelet. Let's keep that in focus. There we go. Then I have two brand new bracelets. The tag is Joseph Noguchi. I'm not familiar with that brand, but I will certainly look it up. Uh, these are both stretch bracelets and they are gemstone. This one I think is some sort of quartz in a very light pink and gray. And this one I believe is a black onyx. And then there's a silver accent bead and then a little brown bead that might be quartz. I'll show you this one up close. There's that brown bead right there that's different than the rest and then the silver bead. And here's a better look at his tag. Joseph Noguchi. And this is that second bracelet. I like the beads. I like that light pink and gray together and then that accent bead right there that in silver. Here is a great looking three strand necklace in gold tone. Great finish as far as the gold. And this is just a necklace with no pendant. The lobster clasp had something on it. I think maybe on the other side. There it is, SD stainless steel china. So a stainless steel piece, SD, I'll have to look it up. It's a great looking necklace. I think I have many pendants that would look great on this. I'd probably pick out something on the chunkier bold side. Here is a very delicate necklace and this is a serpentine chain. Right away it makes me feel like it could be gold or maybe gold filled. There's some kind of printing. It's oh, I'm trying to keep this in focus for you guys. Let's see if I can get better at that. Let's see. Yeah, there's something there we'll look at right now. Closer. XL 14 slash 20. So this is a gold filled piece. Sometimes it'll be 1 20th or 14 slash 20. That, that means gold filled. And it's a great looking piece. It does need to be cleaned up a little bit, but I think it'll shine up real nice. I've got nothing but time on my hands. <laughs> well, it looks like I just have the head of the watch here. It has a beautiful mother of pearl face with gold markers and hands. It is a Gruen, which is a well-known brand. I will look into this particular one if I can find a model number, which is usually on the back. There's the Gruen, and I am seeing GR8789. It even gives you that the battery, which is uh, number 377. Interesting. So this is probably valuable. I will look into it. It takes a certain type of band that would fit like with a ring right there on each end. But I like it. We'll see what happens when I look it up. Here is an ear wire. It is golden color. I didn't see its match. This is the only one I found in this jar. I'm going to put it down and see if it could be magnetic. Well, that's interesting. It's not. So right now on your screen will be the results of my test, which I will do after the video. This is a very sweet bracelet. It's made with pearl or faux pearl and these very pretty cylinder shaped twisted gold beads. Now, the gold on this is bright. I hope that's coming across on camera. And these are all linked together. I think it definitely looks better up close. And I wanted to point out too that it's a lobster clasp and there is no name, but this so reminds me of maybe like a, a Monet. There it is on and I think it's very dainty, very feminine. I like this one too. 
Here's the next piece. We have a charm bracelet. This is a silver tone double link charm bracelet. There are three charms on this. It's got a great silver finish on it. The closure is a spring clasp. Now let's take a look at these charms. Tops. Now Tops, I believe, is the brand. It must be a charm and charm bracelet brand. That is a clock tower. The next charm looks like a gavel. Well, that's cute. It looks like the Four Seasons. So there's the sun on the top and then a snowflake. Maybe some leaf. No, that's a leaf. And then the spring for a flower. That's really cute. There you go. Four seasons, for all seasons, tops. I'll have to look into the brand tops, but I know for sure I love this particular chain. It's got a great finish on it. So we'll see what happens with this one. I love these necklaces. This is a twisted three strand necklace. This one has mother of pearl beads and also looks like some jade and some dyed coral real pretty so I'm taking you up the necklace slowly it's got some gold polished beads mixed in there and on the end we see there is a gold tone barrel clasp i just think the design on these is so pretty i like these colors together also here's a very delicate necklace this is made with links of black chain and black faceted crystals there's the pendant, it's got some movement. It um, comes all together to this one black crystal before the necklace starts up the neck. Here's a better look at the actual chain and the crystals, which are two different sizes. And as you come to the end, we see that there's a lobster clasp and an extender, and there's a jewelry tag. This necklace is made by 1928. Now this necklace is right up my alley. I love the chunkiness, I love the statement. We've got two chunky chains. One is a brass tone, more of a flattened curb style chain, and then this silver one is an antique silver with, with texture to it. It's got these super fun pink crystals. They have almost like a AB, which is Aurora Borealis finish to them, and clear crystals here, faux turquoise. I just like everything about this necklace. This necklace definitely deserves a close-up. So here we go. So there are these little turquoise pieces. This is all one piece, but they are dangling. Um, there are the clear crystals, faux turquoise there. And there's also this metallic ribbon running right under these pink crystals right there. Very cool. And here is a look at the chain going up the necklace. This one does have an extender, and at the end of that, it looks like a maker's mark. Um, by the way, we have a lobster clasp here. Let's look at this maker's mark. There we go, Lydell, NYC, and there's a little crystal in the center as well. I think someone would really enjoy wearing this piece, and I'm definitely going to be listing this one. This is very lovely. This is a gemstone necklace. Again, I believe it's an artisan piece. And let's see where to start. There are these green stones, I believe are green garnet, and I will give you a close up in just a minute. And then I think these stones here could be pink garnet. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm really not 100% sure. These light yellow beads here, I think are pink quartz or rose quartz. Yeah, I'd say rose quartz. And then also we have tiny Swarovski crystals in also that same color that that quartz is. Here's a look at the pendant. How beautiful is this necklace? I really like it a lot. Um, and I'm just going to take you slowly up the necklace so you can see the stones up close. Also, I didn't mention earlier, there are those little tiny spacer beads that are sterling silver going all the way up. This one is finished with a lobster clasp and an extender with a little tiny heart charm. Here is a better look at the end. Also, when we look closer at the lobster clasp, you can see that it is stamped 925, which says that it is sterling silver. 
that is a wrap today guys on this $20 jewelry jar i'd love to hear your comments down below what you thought of the jar if you had any favorite pieces i thought for 20 bucks this jar really packed a punch thanks for coming in and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye